What's up guys? Miles back with another video. Now I got inspired through this video from my favorite YouTuber, shout out to CGA. Because he bro he made a video about this the other week and it made me inspire me to do this video, right? Because he brought up some really good points. And I just kind of want to put experience to those points that he was talking about, right? Before we get into it, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Share the video if you like the video, right? Now, in this video, we're going to be talking about corporate America. And how the game is played, right? In the office. Office game. Office social intelligence, right? Corporate America... I've come to realize, see, let me just talk about my little experiences, right? You talk to the guys that work for, see there's guys that work for the comp some companies, it depends on what it is, right? It could be in, like FedEx, like there's, um, like, um, or UPS, where there's office people that work in the office that coordinate the stuff, and then there's the drivers that go out and deliver the stuff. Um, then you got like CPS and or in the, like where you work for the state, the workers go out into the world and do all these different visits and stuff while the other the supervisors and everything just make sure they do it and have a little checklist, make sure they're following policy and all these different types of things, right? I've come to realize why some of the workers or some of the people, um, that do most of the work, right? They're in the field, so to say. They don't want to be in the office, right? Because they realize to be in the office, you cannot be an authentic person. Because that's not what the office is about, being in the office, right? So you learn real fast, right? And I can tell you guys from my personal experience, right? When I was in sales, um, telemarketer. You can't say what's on your mind, right? And I'm not even talking about like cussing or, um, you know, arguing and being out loud and all this stuff, right? I'm not even talking about what you guys would deem as extreme disrespect, right? I'm just talking about you could have phrased a sentence wrong. I'm talking about you could have sent an email that seemed like it was angry, right? Cause that's what happened to me. I have a situation at work. They were messed up my schedule. I was in school and everything and they kept scheduling for hours I couldn't work. And then I come in and then they sneak dissing and doing all this stupid stuff. You know what I'm saying? And then I get tired of it eventually cause they keep doing it and I keep telling them. But because I'm performing so well at the job, they want me to work more but I can't work more because of school. So I send an email and basically saying, hey, you guys need to get straight my schedule, right? I'm tired of dealing with this, right? You know, I was almost on the verge of being fired. the stupidest thing ever. That next day I had a meeting with the damn company, I want to say CEO, because he was in town, right? Our, our center at the time, we was at a, he's branching out in the different states and stuff, right? And he, I'm having a meeting with him, talking with him over an email that's not over something that's really not my fault, right? It's not my fault. I'm telling you guys I can't work these certain days. You guys are giving me these hours, right? That I can't work. I'm in school these hours. I need to study during these hours, right? Just because I address it and send an email confronting the person that is in charge of the scheduling, she gets mad. She runs to the freaking CEO, and now we're in a boardroom talking about do I even want to work this job now? 
corporate America is not for real, authentic, confrontational people that tell you like it is. Because telling it like it is and telling it, addressing it directly is a violation in corporate America, right? See, in corporate America, you got to talk the jargon talk this happy go lucky you don't even know what the hell they're saying half the time because they're so freaking indoctrinated right right they're saying stuff like well you know you can't do that because you know it's not policy and well and then they have like these freaking meetings and stuff and they're, they're telling you stuff and addressing stuff that's not realistic. It looks good on stats, it looks good on paper, but it's not realistic in the field. All this stupid stuff, right? It's extremely draining. For anybody that is a real authentic person, being in corporate America is draining. Being in the office is draining. Because Everything is connected. Everything goes through somebody, right? Okay, you got to send it to this person for for you to for you to take action at your own center. You got to get in touch with this person, and you can't do anything until that person answers. And if that person don't answer, two days well, two days you're stuck with a problem, or even worse. You have to go talk talk to that guy, and that guy has to talk to his superior. It's just a big cluster, right? Big cluster. It kills your spirit, honestly, if you want to be honest, right? Because you got to sit in that office, right? And if a customer is cursing you out, you got to sit there and take it. You can't say anything to address that customer from stop cussing. You can't say anything. You can't hang up any of that. You can't do any of that, right? Or they're going to get on to you. They're going to write you up. One of the most littlest things ever. Don't even... Corporate America is so tough nowadays with the language and everything. I don't see how guys be having relations at work. I don't see how you guys do that. Y'all crazy. Straight crazy. All that woman got to do is say, go to human resources. Hey, I, I didn't feel comfortable. Why didn't you feel comfortable? Well, the things he stated, right? Well, he hugged me and I didn't want to be hugged. And now you're in a freaking sexual harassment seminar and now you've been written up and on the verge of being fired. Like it's just the stupidest stuff to get involved with ever, right? Now, some of you guys, you don't have a choice. You know, I might have to do it eventually as well, right? But it's good to have a warning or good to know what to expect when you get into these settings, right? Because it's completely different from the real world. Oh, well, let me not just say the real world, right? You can't be real in the office. You just got to throw that part of you out. You're going to have to conform and be talk the corporate jargon to be successful in that field, right? Everything's about metrics and statistics and meeting quotas and Every little thing, right? Detail. Well, I see you got it done, but you're supposed to do it this way because if you don't do it this way, it doesn't count. But it's good that you got it done. It's a, it's it's just a, a it's a headache. It's what it is, right? So, I wanted to, you guys. I just wanted to come in and tell you guys about my experiences in corporate America. And, you know, the things, the hardships that you have to deal with, the things you have to deal with, because it's a lot of snakes in the corporate America as well, right? Everybody's trying to move up as fast as they can. They'll use your ideas. They'll use a simple 
conversation you had at lunch against you. They use everything against you just for them to move up faster within the company, right? And to downgrade you so they boost themselves up, right? There's a lot of things you got to be socially intelligent about when it comes to social or when it comes to the office, right? Completely got to be privy to, right? Or you're going to fail or lose quickly. Because to be honest with you, working in the office is not for everybody. It's not. It's not for everybody. And stay away from that damn human resources. <laughs> if you guys get a call from human resources, I've never been in human resources, but I just keep hearing the horror stories, right? If you get called in the human resources, just know you might get fired that day or they have a scope over you watching every little thing you do right but that's my video go ahead and like comment subscribe share the video if you like the video and i'm out